remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The Eastern Illinois University swim team was headed back from a road trip when they stopped along a stretch of the highway to stretch their legs. When local deputies spotted the team's only black player, they tackled him, put a gun to his head, and threatened to kill him. They later said that they mistakenly thought that he was trying to hold the bus hostage. Even after realizing Jalen Butler's arrest was a mistake, a complaint filed in U.S. District Court for the Central District of Illinois Tuesday alleges officers proceeded to criminalize the collegiate athlete by brutalizing and detaining him on the side of an Illinois highway. The incident unfolded after the bus stopped and one of the team's coaches asked Jalen to take a picture of a road sign for the team's social media page. As he walked back to the bus, several police cars raced up and the 19-year-old was soon faced by armed officers. They swarmed him hard, family. I mean, they came after him like he was Dylan Roof, who had just shot a bunch of people in a church. No, wait a minute, they didn't handle him like that. They took him to Burger King. Okay, maybe it was James Holmes. No, that wasn't, no, James Holmes was the, the white guy in Aurora, Colorado, who killed a bunch of people in the theater, faced like 20-something accounts of murder, first-degree murder. So it wasn't him. Uh, Timothy Mc... No, it wasn't Tim. I was going to say Timothy McVeigh. It wasn't Timothy McVeigh. Uh, they handled uh, Timothy McVeigh uh, with tender, loving care also. Uh, he's the guy who uh, blew up the building, the federal building in Oklahoma. Uh, I'm trying to think of one of them uh, that looks like them who uh, they just took out for killing a bunch of people. Um, can't think of anybody right now. I'll come back to you. Family, do you see where I'm going with this? The lawsuit states that the officer reportedly told him, if you keep moving, I'm going to blow your effing head off. Check this out, fam. The Rock Island County Sheriff's Office released a statement saying the allegations against their deputies are without merit. <laughs> no shame whatsoever, man. The ACLU is helping Jalen out with this lawsuit. They are suing officers from the Hampton Police Department, the East Moline Police Department, and the Rock Island County Sheriff's Office for false arrest, excessive detention, assault, and excessive force, among other offenses. It's worth noting that Jalen Butler is the team's first, the school's first, and only black swimmer. I guess he would be considered a pioneer. So they just basically made up a story, made up the whole thing about searching for someone who shot at a truck. Just straight up line. I really hope the young man gets everything coming to him. I hope he break their asses in two. You got one black male with a camera phone who holds an entire swim team, coaches and staff and training personnel hostage. Oh, and the bus driver. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, I know black males are some strong cats, but damn. If you believe any of what they're saying, you are a damn fool. <sighs> Boy, this is an outrageous abuse of pig power. Pure racism. What happened to Jalen is an example of what people of color, especially black people, go through every single day in this country. 
with liberty and justice for all, for the land of the free and home of the brave. This is why we kneel. Wouldn't it be nice if America practiced what the national anthem preaches? Bet anything they haven't apologized. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?